Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and & Ganny and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you all of the lovely new fabric arrivals that have come into my shop over the month of February. So this is like a little roundup of everything that you can find in the just arrived section. I like to do one of these each month just because we're always getting so many new things and even though I'm sharing the new things in my weekly Instagram live videos, sometimes it's nice just to get a bit of a roundup and see things kind of up close. I can also show you the little clips that I've taken in daylight as well so it maybe gives you a little bit of a better idea of the texture and the drape and the sort of weight and feel of the fabrics as well. So if you are aren't able to visit our gorgeous shop here in Moseley and Birmingham in the UK in person then this is the next best thing. So if you do have any questions at all feel free to leave them in the comments below or if you want a really quick answer you're looking for help or advice on something specific do reach out and email us or call the shop as well and the G&G team and I are always more than happy to help. So I have got loads of really lovely new things to show you tonight most of them are starting to kind of feel a bit more summery so if you're looking forward to making more things for warmer weather and things that are going to do you over the springtime into the summer then I've got lots of inspiration to share with you tonight. So I do have a few things just to let you know about that have come back into stock before we get into all of the new stuff um, because yeah they, they were popular and they took a while to come back in long story I won't bore you with that but yeah some popular things have popped back into stock again. One of them is this gorgeous visco splendid knit fabric and we've had this in loads of colourways, it's been super popular but this lovely minty green colour is back again. We actually thought we couldn't get it and then some arrived so I must have ordered it ages ago and then it miraculously just appeared. It is perfect for really cosy jumpers, cardigans, think Drew Bias Marlowe cardigan would be really nice, a snuggly toaster sweater, it's gorgeous and I absolutely love this shade of it as well. So we do still have lots of other colours of that and we've got some that are double sided as well so one colour's one side other colours the other which is nice if you want like contrasting cuffs or hemp neck bands or anything like that but yeah that that lovely popular minty green one is back again and then we have also got all of the super snuggly sweatshirtings back in again so this one here is the kind of greeny colourway I think we've called it this is sea pine this one and it's the snuggly fleece back fabric and um, it's organic cotton and it is very, very thick and snuggly. So it's definitely the thickest sweatshirting we do. And we have it in quite a few other colors as well. A navy, a black, we've got it in a sort of rust, rust, rust kind of orangey color. And then this lovely green color too. So if you're looking for a sweatshirting that is just that bit thicker and heavier, this is perfect. Use it for hoodies, cardigans, jumpers, all of those types of garments it would be perfect for and it is just so thick and snuggly. You could definitely even use it to make like jogging bottoms as well um, and it would make a really lovely warm cosy outfit. So yeah that was that was super popular before Christmas and we're waiting for it to come back in stock now. So it is back available again and then sort of new but kind of not as well is all of the Mind the Maker Thelma quilted fabrics. So these are the ones that we featured in the Megan Nielsen Hover kit, sewing society kit for December but we just had it in the khaki, the bottle green and the grey but now we've got it in lots of other amazing beautiful colours as well so they all have, um, there's three different quilting designs on them so some of them have these sort of vertical stripes here, some have diamonds and some have waves on them so a few different quilting designs and different colours too. We've got all of the matching binding that goes with it so it's double sided fabric, it's water repellent um, and it's, it's pre-quilted, it's got that polyester wadding inside. Despite it being essentially three layers of fabric it's not actually that thick, like it's not a very thick puffy fabric but it is warm, it definitely feels warm when you wear it but it's actually surprisingly easy to sew. You can sew things that have got collars, facings, you know you can double it up back on itself, you'll still be able to sew through, sew through it okay, just use a micro text needle. Um, and I have been seeing so many gorgeous garments made out of this fabric. Gilets, little jackets, I made a long version of the Green Line Tamarack in it, I love it, it's so nice, it's really, it really feels just amazing to wear and sew and work with, I absolutely love this fabric and if I could try to justify it to myself that I had something in every colour, I would, but that seems a bit excessive given that I have a lot of coats and jackets already anyway. So so yeah, they are all, but they came in, they sold out really quickly, we've got them back in stock again, so 
so yeah you can find all of them in the blog post that goes along with this video I'll link to that in the description and in the just arrived section online too okay the next things I wanted to share with you are fabrics that we've had before but these are new colorways so we have got a really popular range of plain tensile jerseys that comes in all sorts of colors we've got it black navy a gorgeous orchid color and it just is so good for loads of different garments it feels amazing it's very slinky and soft and floaty and we've just got it in two new colorways so this lovely ochre color nice warm color and then a brighter kind of corn flower blue so this is definitely more of like a sort of you know a finer single knit jersey kind of a bit like a t-shirt weight i guess i would say that it's more suited to looser garments so nothing that's too clingy or like very very fitted but wrap tresses are good looser tops like the closet core ebony would be really good the soho seven tabor which is like a v-neck sort of t-shirt things that are just like a little bit looser require a little bit more drape it's perfect for that it is so so lovely and smooth it feels very luxurious to work with and wear as well so a couple of new colors of that and then also now that we're getting into having more of the spring summer fabrics we've got a couple of new colors of our super popular viscose linen fabric this fabric was just crazy last summer it was so popular because it is just super versatile for so many different things it's got quite high viscose content and it's so it's 75 viscose and 25 percent linen so it so it means that it's got loads of that really sort of gorgeous drape and swish you don't need to line it it's got a beautiful texture because of the linen fibers that are in it as well and it's just so good for so many different things so i used it to make a friday pattern company saguaro set but you can use it for dresses, tops, blouses, jumpsuits, trousers, little shorts, little play suits, so, so many different things it's good for. So the two new colours are this beautiful pink orchid, which I love. I might have sneaked a little bit of that to the side for myself, I fancy a nice pink pair of saguaro trousers, the Friday Pattern Company saguaro trousers, because I've got a pair of pink closet core ginger jeans that are made out of pink cord, and I wear them all the time, but I feel like I need a sort of more summery pair of pink trousers, so that's what it's gonna be for me. And then this gorgeous, lovely, sort of lilac-y color here as well. This is beautiful. I love that shade too. Really nice. So yeah, fabrics that we've had before, but new colorways. So I'm gonna stick with the viscose tensile the sorry the viscose linen theme and we've got a few really lovely prints on that type of base cloth as well so i think they're probably quite similar yeah 80 percent viscose and 20 percent linen so again a lot of drape and movement in this one this has got a, a gorgeous sort of line drawing kind of textured leaves and foliage on it it's really nice it's got a beautiful weight to it as well you definitely wouldn't need to line this at all so that would be perfect for a nice skirt or a jumpsuit or a lovely dress and then if you like animals this one's a bit of fun this is sort of safari themed we've got elephants on here and rhinos and some lovely sort of trees and a nice bird that may be some kind of mountains in the background or something so yeah that is on the same base cloth as well but just a sort of funner print i almost feel like you don't totally notice all of the details in it you sort of have to look closely and then you're like oh yeah i spot all of these things which is quite nice always nice and a fabric keeps surprising you like that and then this one here again has got that sort of monochrome feel to it so it's like the natural color of the background fabric then with the the sort of black or kind of like dark gray design on it this one definitely looks black it's a bit bolder and um, so it's more maybe almost like it's stenciled a little bit but again really lovely and weighty but nice and drapey and floaty and would just yeah make a gorge a gorgeous garment i think the pattern is abstract enough as well you wouldn't need to worry about matching that or anything you just just go for it and make it as it comes up so some really really lovely viscose prints there sticking with more sort of linen-y type fabric and a print we have had this one come back into stock we actually got it a little while ago but the only 
sent a tiny little bit and then it sold quickly but now we've got a lot more thankfully and um, it's on a roll this one's 55 linen 45 percent viscose so it means it does have a little bit more structure to it but obviously because it does still have viscose it is still you know a bit floppy i love the colors in this one it's absolutely beautiful and um, these blues and yellows and little green touches as well it's gorgeous so Again, another really lovely versatile one and something that's just got a little bit more structure than those higher content viscose linen prints. And this one here again is viscose linen, but it is so this is 55 linen and 45% viscose. I think this one is absolutely beautiful. It is like a painting, like an oil painting. It's so detailed, got so much sort of texture and colour and depth in it. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. You wouldn't need to line this either. So again, incredibly versatile. I think this would make a lovely sort of statement jumpsuit um, or a lovely skirt that you could wear with just a plain t-shirt or like a like a plain little top or blouse it's really beautiful make a nice dress as well I think the colours are just stunning so another lovely viscose linen print there it used to be quite hard to find them but I th viscose linen prints but I would say it's getting easier we seem to have quite a few in at the moment I always try to snap them up when I see them because because yeah you don't often see lots of good ones so I like to take them when I can get them and then the next ones that I'm going to show you are let's see I think we'll sort of stick with those kind of textured those sort of natural kind of slubby fabrics these ones here I've got a feeling are they've definitely got cotton in them they're cotton and linen so because they've got cotton and linen they definitely have a bit more structure like I wouldn't say they drape or swish I wouldn't say they're like heavy or stiff they're in comparison with the viscose linen they're just they just hold their shape and structure a little bit more so depending on what you're making you may or may not want that it's just something to bear in mind so they do come in lots of different colors but two different widths of stripe so this one here is the mid stripe and yeah it's it as you can see this is the sort of scale or the kind of size of the stripe here i have used this to make a really lovely so liberated hinterland dress that was one of the kit it was in one of the kits that we did last summer and i absolutely love it i did a sleeveless long version it's really nice and the sort of minty greeny one and i found that when you wash it it kind of gets more texture to it it becomes like a little bit more yeah sort of like textured it's not as flat and smooth which gives it a lot of character it's really nice so yeah definitely good for dresses things that do have features like a collar or a button band or a cuff it's all going to be really nice and crisp to work with and it's going to hold the structure of those sort of features of a garment really nicely so yeah mid weight mid stripe and then also that sort of finer pin stripe as well um, which is really nice so so yeah we did have them last summer but we've just got them all back in again nice and topped up in that department okay next a few more planes for you so i have got some of this is a new base cloth that we've not had before and um, and it is a tensile linen so it's 90 percent tensile and it's 10 percent linen so so it behaves a lot like tensile which is very similar to rayon or viscose or bamboo as in it's really sort of floaty drapey swishy moves around a lot but because it's got that little bit of linen in it it just has more of that sort of slubbed texture so it just makes it a little bit more interesting i would say this is quite a weighty fabric i mean you can sort of see my hand through it a little bit but um definitely for like a top or or a you know a blouse or a kind of tunic length dress i don't think you need to line that possibly for a dress it would depend on the style of dress really but it feels really super soft very cooling to wear tensile's quite wicking um so yeah it's a really lovely one for the summer and at the moment we've just got that in a nice classic white it's quite a bright white and then also in a black as well so this would be really good for a lovely pair of trousers you could do the true bias emerson's in this or or the saguaro set as well i think that would work nicely too and um, just nice to have a sort of lovely smooth classic you know classic black 
always handy to have items that are going to go with lots of other things and the next ones are plain but they've definitely got a lot of depth and texture to them this comes in three different colorways as well this specific one here is the fresh sage but we've also got vanilla and a really lovely sort of powdery blue color as well so when you look closely at it you can see these lovely stripes in it and then it's got these doby spots woven into it as well so it's really pretty nice if you want something plain but it's not totally flat plain fabric i would say in terms of weight it feels very much like a light a very light cotton lawn or almost like a cotton voile so it is very fine fabric and I would say for like a little summer top or blouse you would be fine I don't think you need to line it you'd maybe just want to wear a vest top underneath it or something but probably if you were making in you know more like a dress then I feel like you would you would want to line it because it is very fine and those stripes are a little bit see-through but it's just a really lovely sort of very dainty pretty one I think that's nice um, and yeah just just good for an option for a plain fabric but something with a little bit more texture okay the next ones I'm going to show you are all more sort of embroidered ones so this comes in three different colorways and um, and it is the let me get the name of it for you it's the the sunflower embroidered border cotton fabric. So you can see it's quite heavy with embroidery, this one, but at the selvage, it's got this, this little sort of embroidered edge to that you could definitely incorporate into your garments. So it might be maybe that you cut your garment out. So rather than the grain line being up and down like this, that it's at 90 degrees to that selvage so that that could then effectively like become your hem or it can maybe become the hem on your sleeve or something as well or you could just use it say you were making something that had a little gathered ruffle in it then you could just cut your ruffle strip from that and then that would be like the edge of your ruffle I think that would look really pretty as well or maybe like a button band and then you could have that come gathered and then coming out of the button band and um, I've actually got a blouse that is from Bowdoin that is very similar to that so yeah you could do you could do something like that with it as well so that this is really nice just like a classic white one but then we do have a couple of colored ones as well so we've got one that's sort of greeny with this lovely sort of cream embroidered thread on it which is really nice but more of a contrast there and then same as the green but in a uh, blue and um, I love this shade of blue as well it's really lovely nice and nice and bright and vibrant we've called this what kind of yeah we have just called it blue I would say it's it's, it's a bit like a cornflower blue I wouldn't say it's a sky blue but yeah it's really nice lovely with that that contrast of the creamy embroidery thread as well and then the next ones have more of a sort of cross stitch vibe to them and um, I absolutely love these they're so detailed there's like a lot a lot going on in these embroidered ones this is more of an all over one so it doesn't you know it doesn't go to the selvage it's just very much kind of all over this embroidery and yeah you can see that some of the flowers in the leaves have got cross stitches on them so i would say that the base of this fabric is like a very sort of lightweight cotton lawn but because it's got all of the embroidery on it it maybe just makes it feel a little bit heavier and um, i think for tops and blouses you'd be fine you could just make it i don't think you need to line it but yeah for if you were making a dress or something i, I would say you probably would want to line it probably just in a, in a plain cotton lawn we do have plain plain cotton lawns and cotton foils that you could line that with so yeah this is the navy one and i would say it's a sort of creamy embroidery thread on it and then we've also got a really lovely pink and a kind of lighter blue as well a bit more like a sort of denim blue which is really nice and um, so yeah they're just really pretty if you if you want to make something that's sort of yeah like kind of delicate and sort of whimsical and maybe yeah maybe has some sort of gathers and ruffles very kind of bohemian sort of feel to it i think they're they're absolutely beautiful and i think you could just you could even just make something that is so simple you know like a really simple design of garment just a simple top and um, but because the fabric is so intricate you know it'll still look really fancy and extra special so yeah some really beautiful ones there and then the last ones that i want to show you are just on the rolls behind me here and you might have noticed actually as a as I was laying them out and then these two ended up together how well do they go together they look amazing imagine a nice pair of trousers in that and then like a little top in that perfect I think they look really nice together and um, 
so I don't cause an avalanche, I'm actually going to start at this end. Um, so this one here is, this is a viscose tensile fabric and it's got a twill weave so you can see a little bit of that diagonal texture on it. This feels very, very silky and satiny, very, very slippery. So yeah, be, be prepared for slipperiness when you work with this fabric, but it's beautiful. I love how vibrant the colours are on it. It's definitely opaque, you wouldn't need to line that. So you could use it to do lots and lots of different things. Definitely dresses, jumpsuits, trousers, skirts, tops, blouses, everything. It would be really good for that. Quite a sort of abstract pattern as well. So I don't think I would be pattern matching that at all. I think you would just go with the flow because um, it's just sort of more of those kind of one, um, more of those all all over prints that I don't think you really need to worry about it as much. And then the next one has got beautiful vibrant colours in it as well. Um, I love this one, very warm tones in this one. So you've got the oranges and the pinks with little little bits of purple and then that lovely sort of like turquoisey bright bright green in it too. So this one is the Vibrant Flower Burst and it is a viscose fabric. It's a plain weave viscose so the texture of it feels quite flat um, and yeah it's just lovely and smooth and silky. Probably a bit more of a matte finish. The last one had almost like a little bit more of a sheen to it. This is more of a matte finish on this one here. Um, again very abstract, very all over so no pattern matching needed on this one either. So just another really lovely bright vibrant one. It's so nice to see all of these lovely bright saturated colours and then yeah the final one that I think pairs perfectly with this amazing lilac and um, new viscose linen one. So this is the the neon blurred blooms and this is 100% viscose as well. Again, it's a plain weave, so it's got more of that matte finish, that smooth matte finish to it. And yeah, I absolutely love this one. It's got quite a sort of digital vibe to it and that kind of, um, it's almost like the print's kind of blurred a little bit. There's been quite a strong trend that we've seen in a lot of fabrics. But I just love the colours in this. I think that is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, again, I don't think you'd need to do any pattern matching with that. I don't think you need to line it. So it's just a lo really lovely, versatile one. I think that's just gorgeous. Um, and now I can't get an outfit an outfit of, the, of it matching that that purple lilac viscose linen out my head so I'm going to need to try and come up with something to put the two of them together maybe a saguaro set again maybe like this is the top that's the trousers I think that would be really nice and um, so I hope you have enjoyed seeing all of those things and um, I am going to warn you that depending on when you look at this video our just arrived section may have totally changed from everything that I show you because we're having so many new fabrics arrive at the moment. I almost can't keep up. It's almost been a bit like, like not as many at the start of the month and then literally right at the end, all the fabrics have come in all at once. Um, so hopefully that gets you caught up, gives you a little introduction into what's been, what's been arriving in the shop. So you can check out the blog post that goes with this video. If you want to find something specific that's in it, it's the easiest way to find it is going to the blog post because I'll list them all out and link to them all there in the sort of order that I mentioned them in the video too. But yeah, if you want to just generally keep up to date with all the new things that are coming into the shop, then just keep an eye on the Just Arrive section. Tune into my weekly Instagram lives on the on the Instagram platform that's on a Monday at eight o'clock and then I usually share it on my YouTube channel the following day so you can watch back there as well you can ask any questions that you want if you want to see anything up close again or anything like that then I can show you in those weekly lives but thanks so much for watching I hope you've enjoyed it and found lots of inspiration just remember to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time bye